Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be solving the Hanayama Devil Puzzle, which is a level 5 out of a possible 6 on the Hanayama difficulty scale, and it is the last level 5 puzzle that we are yet to solve. That is in the sort of main Hanayama puzzle collection. There are a few other mini series that Hanayama have done that we haven't yet solved. But this is the, the last level 5 and the last one of the overall collection that we are yet to do. Which is quite an exciting prospect for me. So the aim of the devil puzzle is to separate those two sort of wiry pieces that look identical from what I can see on the box. And once we've then taken them apart, our aim is to put them back into their original position. And then we will place the devil puzzle on this leaderboard based on how difficult I find it. Currently we have the easiest puzzle down here and then going left to right, bottom to top, we end up at the hardest puzzle in this top right hand corner up here. Without further ado, Let's solve the final Hanayama puzzle. Okay, so here is the devil puzzle, which is a little bit more than just a, a wire puzzle, as, which is what I described it as just now. But yeah, this is, I don't know about you, but this is bigger than I expected it to be. And obviously our aim is to separate these two pieces from each other. And... How we do that, I do not know right now. But as always, we'll have a, a quick read of the box, which doesn't give us much. I mean, it's more like a history of the puzzle, to be honest. So it says, the early 20th century witnessed a puzzle boom, which in 1905 gave birth to an absurdly simple looking puzzle known as the Devil's Claws. We were surprised at how nicely this version turned out after deciding to revise the original. Don't let the smooth looks of this one fool you. Those who let frustration take over often leave this puzzle forever unsolved. Dedicated to the true puzzler. So, let's not get frustrated. Surely we have to use this part of both pieces maybe to separate this. And... One question is, will it be one move that separates these two things, or will it be a series of moves? These are far too thick for sort of to be bent, which is a, a good thing. Otherwise, this one could be extremely simple to get apart, not necessarily solve. At the minute, we're just gonna move around and, and see what happens. Sort of get a feel for what movements are available. And then if yeah, if we figure anything out or find anything, then, then we'll go from there. Feels like something could happen around here. See, one thing is that this is too thick to go through there. Far too thick. So that definitely doesn't happen. Which could mean that, I mean, we can sort of slide one up there, but... If we get sort of, like, at the minute the arrangement is two here, two here. But if we just focus on one and we can get the other two here and here, then that's a way that we could separate it. But how would we go about that? And maybe that arrangement, if it ends up two pieces here, maybe they're not facing the same way like they are around here, maybe the sort of one's upside down relative to the other. This part here, so obviously we're sort of at the end of each thing. If we could get that bit underneath there, that would be helpful. Let's try and apply a, a tiny bit of force. No, no, that would require quite a lot of force I think. But there has been puzzles where I've just not applied enough force to get into the right positions, but I feel like that one isn't a time to be trying to force that. But is there a way we can get in a position where we start a little bit lower down it? Ooh, like maybe this, and then turn the corner. So now we've got it to that position. Hmm, that's interesting. But we can't come any further up because this bit's now getting in the way. So 
So obviously this way when all four pieces are facing the same way isn't going to work because this bit gets in the way. So I'm guessing we then have to arrange it with the same position but this one sort of like in a, as a mirror image of what it is now. The, sort of, the variety of movements is quite surprising given that it is just two pieces. I feel like I'm stuck at the minute. Or that it's more connected than it was, but I imagine I'm not. No, we're not. We're back to where we were. Oh, I think we've done it. Yes. So. I'm not sure how, but we've separated it there. That's interesting. But I was in a position then where I just felt, oh, I just need to get this bit from this side to this side. And all I had to do, all, all, literally all I did was go down and up. So, wow, I'm gonna have to find where that was in a second. But in about 15 minutes, we've managed to disassemble the devil puzzle. And we will immediately put it, or attempt to put it back together. So we sort of came from this position, but I don't seem to be able to get this back on this side. And it came apart exactly how I was, as I thought it would, or I thought it might. But we sort of got there by accident. Well, not by accident. I mean, I'm. My, I'm wasn't like I wasn't trying to separate it, so it definitely wasn't an accident, but what I mean is it wasn't an intentional, an intentional move to get to the previous position. Why can I not reconnect this now? Is that it? Is that it? Wow, I think that's it. Can I get to, well, yeah, this is it, I'm pretty sure. I can just get to this position just to be sure. I'm gonna assume that we had that this is it, that we have put it back together, even though it's sort of like on the wrong side. But I'm gonna have a little bit of a play around before I do the outro and really sort of figure out if there is sort of maybe two ways of putting it back together or, or whether it is just one. But anyway, we're gonna take it as a solve. We have done the devil puzzle quicker than I expected but again it, we might have sort of assembled it one of the two ways that you, or reassembled it in one of the two ways that are possible uh yeah I'll let you know that in a second but for now devil puzzle done quick update oh yeah I was right I just well no I wasn't right I'd had it in the wrong position I just put it together backwards and this is now that original devil puzzle position and yeah, we've properly solved it now. Now all we need to do is place it on the leaderboard. So there it is. After a little bit of confusion, we've managed to disassemble and then reassemble the devil puzzle backwards and forwards when we're putting it back together. For a level five puzzle, that wasn't as difficult as I was expecting, to be honest. I've, Usually level fives and sixes require like a sequence of movements or at least more than one move But this one doesn't seem to need that it was almost just one little sort of under and over in the right position and it solves Similar actually to the elk puzzle, but not quite as hard to find as the elk puzzle solution So for placing it on the leaderboard we're gonna do what we've done recently. We're gonna compare it to the level fives on the leaderboard first. And then once we've found one that we are easier than, or harder than and easier than, we'll then work somewhere in the middle of that. Which means we're starting with the spiral puzzle, which we are definitely harder than. And then we've got the ring two puzzle just next to it. We're probably harder than the ring two puzzle as well. And the next one is the Amor puzzle. We're also harder than the Amor puzzle. Next is the marble, which were probably harder than the marble as well. And the next one is the Laby puzzle. And we are definitely not harder than the Laby puzzle. So we are gonna be somewhere between the marble puzzle here 
the Levy puzzle here. If we work our way down from the Levy puzzle, we are definitely not harder than the hexagon or the coaster puzzle. We're also not harder than the ring puzzle. So the, the only ones left are the Delta, the Slider and the Mobius. I think the Delta and the Slider were probably harder than those two. And are we easier or harder than the Mobius? I probably think we're a bit easier than the Mobius. So, which puts us around 40th place between the Slider and the Mobius puzzle. So that's it done. That is the, the last of this sort of main Hanayama cast puzzle collection. We've now done it all, about, what, just over two years in the making. We've got a few solution videos for all of these ones still to come out. Obviously, the devil will be the last of those. But before we get into solving any of the other series, like the Ultraman, the Marine, and then some of the older puzzles that don't seem to be made anymore, or at least aren't a part of the, the collection that are in sort of these brochure things. Yeah, we're gonna do something a little bit different with these ones that we've got over the next sort of few weeks. We'll see how it goes, but yeah, that's something to look forward to in the future. For today though, we've done our job. We've disassembled and reassembled the Devil Puzzle. We've placed it on the leaderboard and the Hanayama collection is complete, sort of. Thank you very much for being here. If you want to see me solve more of these Hanayama puzzles and the step-by-step -step solutions to each and every one of them, then be sure to click my face here to subscribe and I will see you next time. Peace!